Hello, everybody, and welcome to our first Patreon-sponsored, for lack of a better word, series. We're going to be playing Hob today. And what makes this different than normal series on my channel, it's probably going to be a little bit less frequent and, you know, maybe it won't be around for a long time. Maybe it will. We'll see if we like it. But uh, this was voted on and, and won the a Patreon poll. So this is going to be the game we're checking out. This is going to open up some some opportunities. I'll be playing some games that are uh, are suggested by people who support on Patreon. Thank you, by the way. And you might see some older games, maybe some like some classic huge name games that I typically wouldn't cover because they're not like new indie games. But for today, it coincidentally is a, you know a newer indie game. Hob is a uh, a game that I'm I'm actually really excited that it uh, that it won the poll because I I really really love Torchlight and Torchlight 2. This is made by Runic Games, the same people who are responsible. Is he is he speaking in English? I don't I don't think so. But uh, I'm I'm really really big into the visual style of this game, and that's honestly that's like the main thing I know about this game at all. I. Uh, it kind of flew under my radar despite- Ooh, oh, we're controlling. Despite really, like I said, really liking Torchlight, Torchlight 2. Like, I remember hearing about it a long time ago, and then I just didn't hear anything about it for a long time after that. So I don't even know what type of game I, I'm getting into here. But the visuals are so nice. It, this style really, I, I really like it. The kind of- Is this cell shaded? Is that fair? I don't think so. So what's the, uh... What is this thing over here? I wonder if this is gonna be kinda like Last Guardian-esque. And I just say that because we got a big hulking pal, it seems. Run around with shift, we can't do anything except for jump and- jump and run! For now. The music is, like, just nice and ambient right now, too. What do you see, buddy? Oh, he, oh. he didn't like that. Okay. What is it, man? Okay. Okay. Huh? <laughs> yeah, this is, a. Uh, it's giving me some, some, some of those vibes of the game where you're kind of like, you are the escort mission in a way, but I have a feeling that it'll become more action soon. Okay, there's a little creature down there, too, even. But right now, I'm just I'm just soaking in all the visuals. Oh, thank you. Cause it's got the nice little outlines you see there. Uh, I don't know if the mouse is getting picked up. But the, the outlines of the grass, like, right on the top of it, it's just, oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. And the colors they pick. I'm gonna gush about the visuals of this game so much. But I, like, like I said, I don't even know what genre this is, per se. I'm assuming this is like a checkpoint, but there's no danger yet. Okay, there we go. We're platforming now. Ma yeah, maybe it is, maybe it's just a platformer, honestly. Hoot! Okay. Yes! Yes, alright, alright. We got action now. I am playing with mouse and keyboard, I think it's probably like... Oh, okay, okay. Probably would be better with a uh, controller, especially when you're jumping at these angles that are not so, uh... So normal. Yep. Okay. Okay, thank you. What do you see, boy? Just tell him to like... Do something? Nope. Okay. Are we kind of just look- I think now we are looking for stuff on our own. Oh! Once you jump, you forfeit your, uh, your momentum changing. So, like, I'm running forward and then I- I'll press back. Yeah, you, you can't just jump around willy-nilly. Hi. This thing is- It's like a mixture of what? It's like, a. A deer and a platypus? 
and a giraffe zebra? Antelope? Is this where the the uh, title of the game shows up? Oh, oh! Oh no! Conflict! Oh no. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> okay. Okay. Credits. Okay, so that stuff is clearly some kind of corruption. We got infected, got our arm cut off, walking dead style. I always think that it, it makes so much sense. There's gonna be probably a point soon where I'll like, I'll be sick of the idea of it, but it makes so much sense. Like all these games that are very uh, beautiful, or at least beautiful to me, yeah, it's subjective. Where the theme is like, there's corruption spreading. It, it, it always, it, it makes sense. It like, it resonates, you know, because it, it, it's such a pretty place. You don't want to see it ruined by this like monotone goop or whatever. Or, like, something as simple as a game like De Blob, where it's like, the world is supposed to be colorful. They drain the color. Like, it, always, it makes sense. And that, that's like a, an objective that resonates with me, because I, I want to keep the environment, uh, in, the in-game environment I'm talking here. But, you know, the environment in real life is important too, but I'm, I'm talking like the game's environment. You want to keep it pretty and, and nice. Ooh. Can we fight now? That would imagine walking around like that. The, your left half of your uh, like your shoulders and stuff would get so buff. Oh, we can also right click to move. Okay. This is W A S D. Honestly, it almost feels like easier to do the the right click. I'd never, I'd never like the the click to move. In games, but uh, yeah, it, still, it seems to function pretty well. Where to now? We lost a robo. Can we not punch now that we have a? No, we have a robo arm. I have a feeling we'll learn. I like that it's not just. Uh, Throwing everything at you, all obvious. What is that? But we are in a, like a, I mean, we're in kind of a, a very walled off clearing, so we'll probably figure it out. And I think that's always the way to go. Like, I guess maybe we do it. Yeah, what? Why does this function so well? The click to move. I like it. I like it a lot. How do we get to like, uh, maybe we can activate one of those buttons now or something. That's where it was. There we go. We have the fist. Okay. I'm thinking pro <laughs> probably over where the uh, little box on the ground is. Okay, so yeah, there's the corruption. This is where we got, uh, where we got got. Where they made us lose our arm. I'm always the kind of person who, uh, like, it seems pretty obvious to me that we're supposed to go up there, but I always have to, and I think it's like, Games like Resident Evil and stuff always inspire it in me. Hey, there he is! Hey, buddy! Where you gotta go the way that you're not supposed to go before you go the way you are. What is this? Hello. Is this, uh... Are you alive or is this like a statue? I can't even tell. I have a feeling we're gonna learn something that'll let us punch through these walls soon. Hey! <laughs> oh, okay. So we, now we got a robot arm and a sword? Nope. 
Aw. That would be really pretty cool. Oh, man. I love it. I love it when the when you have E to interact, I guess. I love it when you have characters that uh, can't speak, you know, the language you're speaking, English or whatever. Oh, I and you just kind of like, you form a bond like that. Oh, I love it. Hey! Okay. We got all three of those pieces. <laughs> Whatever that means, I don't know. We gotta forge something over here. There's all the pieces, the little pieces slots. Okay. This game looks so dang good. What are these little tags hanging off of our head? What is that about? All right. So that looks like it gave us a health bar. Hmm. Now there's another sword pedestal. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Now we can attack. What's this? Upgrade area? Okay, okay. Summon a shield from your arm, rolling dodge. Improved rolling dodge, we already have one? I'm, I'm excited now. Now that I know we can slash and punch. Oh. Oh yes, costumes. My favorite. That sounded, that sounded sarcastic, but it's not. I, I'm a sucker for customization. I truly, truly am. Okay, so maybe, uh, oh, yes. He has a flower blooming in his heart area, or is that his heart? It's a little flower. Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay. No, we can't punch yet? Okay. Hi, what do I do? Oh, I love that. We can sheath our weapon. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. We can chop down the trees. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. There we go. We learned cut. Go here first. I know we can go down there, but I wonder if this is like open-ended, open open world. Is that is it open world if it's like I don't know. Got ten Monets. Whoop! No! <laughs> All right. That's fine. I mean, we keep our money still, right? All right. I'll, I'll go back and do it once real quick here, just to. Just to learn if it's permanent. Okay, it's permanent. Ooh. That always made me jealous in games, how people can just slide, like, slide down ladders. Unrealistic standards. He's not even grabbing the, uh, the things that you're supposed to grab. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I I am actually like scared of heights. So I what is Is that a little bird thing? Is that what he was holding? I I don't know. So this is just like a this is a nice little vista and that's all. Alright. Can we We can Okay. What if we get anything for uh, just finding the those little vistas? What what game did that that I that I really appreciated? I think it's oh oh uh, Guild Wars Guild Wars did that Guild Wars two I think I played that they they had this woo, they had this thing where uh, you actually like could get stuff you could 
progress your character if you just found a bunch of pretty places and then they did like cool camera panning things. That is like that's always such a I love that. I love that in games. When they they encourage the exploration more. What is this? It's just a normal treat. Okay, we got bads now. I have a feeling we only have one move and it's just slash oh <laughs> purple blood okay yeah there's oh okay 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 I was gonna say there is there any uh, strategy here it seems like there is gonna be minimal at least at the very least there's gonna be minimal I'm not saying there's gonna be none okay so do we want to go here already? Look at that guy. He's just, is he just going to stay there and bump me out? Alright, I'll go in. I'll go in. I'll leave. Use glove abilities. Okay. Do I want to be in here already? Whoa! Huh! Color palette in here. I'm I'm a sucker for these like tans tans and greens. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here yet. But like I, I said, I really like it when games just let you not know. It it's it's a trend that I think a lot of games are getting back into. There was an there was an era where just okay that thing wondering about that there's an era where games were like not not letting people do that on their own and it seems like a lot of games are are moving back towards it at the very least like the renaissance of indie games the the bridge between indie games and bigger games becoming you know shorter and i think that uh you know with all the the new indie games coming out they're they, they know, a lot of them know that it's not a good idea to just be obvious all the time. But this takes it a step further and doesn't even have people... Oh, are we getting a new ability? Is that what that is? If so, that is like the coolest way to see that happen ever. Ooh. Fist armament. All right. Hold punch. Hold punch. I would love to. <laughs> I mean, if it's going to say hold... Okay. R. Cool, cool. Got it. I know I was just saying how I, like you don't need to be told things, but but like if you're gonna put a hold punch on the screen already, you could just like put a little cryptic R there or something. That's you know I fi I figured it out, and it didn't take that long. Woo! Hold punch. Is this? Oh, this is the breakable wall. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta wait for it to charge up that blue bar up there, I guess. Okay. Yep. There we go. Now we can break through walls. This is where we went down. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming we can. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna try that one more time. I think. Hold on, where- is this how he got in? Okay, we ju we jumped down and I know we won't be able to get back up that one ladder. Okay. I don't know if we can make that jump again. Backwards. That's alright. I don't think we're that far back. 
Alright. Okay. This is where we're supposed to go. Jump punch. Cool. So that made our staircase. Let's... Go over here first, though. This looks like maybe a money spot. Ooh. Okay, so we have enough to buy, like, an upgrade. Cool. Alright. Oh, is this thing gonna spin? Please tell me. Whoa, where are we? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh. I'm, I'm liking it so far. It's not like been crazy deep, like complex or anything, but it's just, it's night. It's a nice, pretty environment that we're interacting with, and I'm, I'm sure like as more things get unlocked and, uh, you know, combos and stuff, the combat could, could be really interesting. Ooh, but right now I, I'm enjoying it. I can jump, right? Okay. I'm enjoying it for the the visuals. If if nothing else, the visuals are just really, really working for me. And I'm I'm somebody where like, if the visuals are good enough in a game, oh, we got to talk to him. I could I can probably enjoy my whole experience. Yes, I agree about that. Go that way. Go that way? Because... Oh, we got a map. Okay. I mean, truly, like, if you, you play an MMO or anything, and they're, like, they have all these quests and stuff, they essentially can be saying the same thing as this guy if they just put a waypoint on the map. But, anyways, that is going to do it for this first patreon sponsored episode here i'm definitely going to do another one i'm having a good time here uh but if you want to have a say in what games i play on my channel i will have one spawn quote unquote sponsor i'm saying sponsor that's got a scary connotation with it but i'm just saying like the patreon the people on patreon are, are helping choose so if you want to have a say in it you can go over there uh this this was suggested and then and then voted on uh yeah so if you want to shape things a little bit, you can go over there. Otherwise, hey, it's just another series. It's, it, the goal is for not to replace anything else. It's just to be an extra thing that's brought about by Patreon. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description. There's a link on my page. I don't want to sit, sit here and plug it too much. But uh, I, I really like the game so far. And if you are interested in the game, I'll also put a link in the description for Hob itself. So... That's going to do it for today. Thank you everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series and channel. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time.